Hello, this is Dan, the Furniture Repair Man. Today we're going to show you um, how to repair damaged molding on a piece of furniture. We're going to use a moldable epoxy from Mohawk. You see it right here, epoxy putty stick, comes in different colors. You can mix them, match them. Uh, we're going to use a pretty neutral color. It's very simple to do. Now, all you're going to do is slice off a little bit of the uh, product itself. I uh, use a razor blade to do it. There's a little plastic on the outside, and then there's a white inside and a colored outside. You're just going to knead it together until it all becomes one uniform color. Then you know you're good to work with it. Once you have that done, as you can see here, what I'm going to do is take the first bits I have. I'm going to press them very hard into the uh, cracks and grooves in here because what they're going to do is they're going to uh, dry in there and they're going to hold on in all those little crevices and everything like that. That's going to keep this repair from popping off. If it's a super smooth area, sometimes I'll take a knife and I'll rough it up a little bit and create what we call teeth. So once you have your base amount applied, then I go back and I start applying more. And right here, I'm speeding up the video. And um, what I'm going to do is just get enough on so that I could shape it. So uh, I'm not worried that much about sculpting it. I just want enough in place so that I can move it around and create the desired shape. Now. I never get this done in one pass. It's always going to take me at least two, sometimes three times to get it completely rebuilt unless it's a very small repair. So I, I just get 80, 90 percent of it on there. I let it dry. This material dries very quickly, uh, sometimes 15, 20 minutes, and then it's sandable. So um, it, it works very quickly. Now, what I'm going to do is just this very sophisticated tool, a block of wood. And all I'm doing is I'm transferring this shape from the existing piece onto my moldable uh, epoxy right there. So it works very much like clay will. Um, the difference is it hardens on its own and it gets very strong. Now I have excess, so I'm just gonna take a razor blade and I'm gonna cut off a little bit of the extra that I have. And I'm gonna work from the bottom up and um, I'm just gonna press on the edge. And you can see it's nothing complicated, nothing difficult, easy to do and you just kind of keep working it and you got to keep in mind that it will set up and harden so um, if it feels like it's getting hard uh, you got to finish up real quick or you got to cut pieces off that you don't want to have to spend a lot of time sanding off now it does sand wonderfully but it's a lot of extra work so a um, little practice or maybe start with a little bit less in the beginning and put it on there because you can always add without having to do the extra work. And you can see me right here, I'm using the block and I'm just kind of shaping everything in. Very, very simple technique. And now I'm feeling this edge. So where the um, moldable epoxy hits the wood, I need it to be almost a seamless transition. And it never is when I apply it. I always have to sand it seamless, but I try to get it as close as possible. And now I'm working the opposite corner to try to rebuild that corner. Nothing too difficult. Now it's dry and I'm going to sand it. So I've got my 220 sandpaper and again, same block of wood. We're not using a lot of tools here. Uh, and all I'm doing is sanding it. Now I block sand this to keep it nice and straight. If I finger sand it, I'll probably end up grooving it and uh, it'll show up in the finish. Now this whole piece is getting refinished. So we have some flexibility with it. And right here you can see, you know, I need to put some more epoxy on the corner. I need to fill in some of these holes, and then there's kind of a blank spot right here, but I'm a good 85% to where I want to be. So right now, this corner, I'm roughing it up with a razor blade so that I create some teeth there. It's a little smoother than I want, and now what I'm doing is I'm going to push my epoxy into those grooves I created, and when it dries, it's going to hold on to that, and it won't pop off. Now... This is just as strong as the wood once it's dried. There takes a little bit of technique, to, you know, to master it, but it's a great product. Now, after that, you do have to know how to color it and match it in, but that'll be in other videos. We will do touch-up colors and stuff like that. You could just watch our channel and see um, our, our touch-up techniques. This piece we're working on is we're refinishing it, so we're starting with a neutral color because. We're going to color the piece and we're going to end up hand coloring this. It really doesn't accept stain too well. You have to do a little bit of a touch-up color um, 
treatment to it. But if you're doing a piece that's already finished and you just have some damage or dog chew to it, uh, there's enough color choices from Mohawk where you can find a color that's almost very close to the finished product. You would probably test it by mixing it up first and just letting it dry a little part of it, not on the piece, and see seeing how it looks compared to what you need to do. Sometimes you can mix a little bit of one color with another, uh, you know, three parts of a dark brown, one part of a light brown to get more to where you want. And you can make this work for uh, finished pieces. So I do finished pieces all the time, but even finished pieces, you just usually have to come back with some touch-ups or some varnish and stuff like that. You see, I'm continuing to work this piece the same way all the way through. It's just the amount I'm applying is smaller as I shape it in, finer details, fill in smaller areas. Now what I'm going to do is spritz just a little bit of water on there. What the water does is it lets the, uh, the moldable epoxy get a little slippery and the block move a little bit um, smoother on it, and it really smooths it out. It keeps it from grabbing. It, 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 it's a sticky substance because you want it to stick to where you're applying it, but the water is something I do as I get closer to the finished product. Here you can see a picture of the final result. Um, I didn't put a video on sanding it. I think it's pretty um, easy to do, just the same 220, your block of wood, and sand it till it's nice and smooth. But this corner is rebuilt, and this piece looks a lot better. It's not hard to do. I'm sure you can accomplish it. Maybe practice a little bit, or if it doesn't work right, just cut it out and do it all again. Thanks so much for watching. This is Dan, the Furniture Repairman. Questions or comments, uh, please leave them below. Try to like and subscribe. Um, anything you want me to do, put it in the comment section. And I'll try to do a video on it. Y'all have a good day.